Hey, good morning guys. It's uh, about five past seven on uh, Tuesday what, 16th. We'll try for Tuesday the 16th of November. And I'm sat here right behind uh, the back, the backside of Tuckcom, uh, looking down towards South Batia Road. Hmm. There's a fire engine there at the side. Wonder if there's been any problems. Anyway, good morning to y'all, and uh, this is my first, should be high definition video around the town. So please give me some feedback as to if you think it comes out okay. And uh, there's us looking down uh, South Patea Road. That heads back towards the Sukumfit, and over that way takes you into the town, uh, down to where the bat buses sit. As you'll know, all the all the bar owners and restaurant owners had a bit of kick in the teeth the other day when uh, when they said, "Yeah, we're not going to open the bars until 16th of January." Um, absolute crazy. This this past two weekends in Batea. We've had a music festival and we are talking thousands upon thousands of people all crammed into bottlenecks to get to socially distant seating. You, you honestly couldn't make it up. So people will all get funneled into this small line. They're all touching each other, you know what I mean? That's how close your bodies are. And... Uh, then they put you in an area where you've got to sit. Uh, it says two metres, but it's not two metres. It's, they haven't got space to do it, so they have these seats about one metre apart. All these signs saying, please keep two metres away from everybody. Impossible. So they, uh, you've got to be double vaccinated to go in. And at the same time, if, you don't, if you're not double vaccinated, you have to have a test before you go in. So, just absolute madness. Um, maybe one of you's no, but uh, apart from the vaccination, helping to keep down serious uh, the serious side effects of having this COVID flu. It doesn't stop you catching it, it doesn't stop you spreading it. Why are so many countries pushing so hard to get people vaccinated? Uh, anyway. Kind of does your head and you know. I'm not, a, I'm not a big drinker so uh, the bar scene is not a major thing to me. In fact, nine times out of ten. I'll be in there having a coke light, even on uh, the pool nights when I play at the, the Robin Hood Tavern. It's uh, unusual to see me drinking beer. Um, it's just part of one, I struggle to play pool, and two, if I drink beer, it makes it even worse. I feel I play better, but I actually play worse, so, so anyway. But a real kick in the teeth when uh, Bangkok, the restaurants are selling alcohol. Uh, Phuket, you could do whatever you want in Phuket. And Pitea. Uh, the government, not the local governor, but the govern, government have decided it's too risky to, for people to have a drink when they're having a meal. And I understand some bars have used it. But for 
some of these bar owners, things are getting really desperate. They've been closed for seven months, paying the rent. There's no government assistance here. There's no furlough scheme, nothing. They've still got to pay for ev everything they normally would. So you can understand why some of them uh, want to flout the laws a little bit. That's me just past Soy Linky on the right and Soy Diana on the left. And as you see, all the monks there walking up on the right. Let's see if I can show you them. There we go. Um, bottom line for me, Petita is still a beautiful place to live. Uh, It's just, just got a vibrancy about it, even in these dark times. Um, well, normally I go down Soy Honey and along Second Road, but because I'm filming, I'll, I'll go along here a little bit. I'm a bit worried because I'm filming in 4K. I don't know how long my battery and my camera is going to last. Uh, I've never edited in 4K before, so. I don't know how that long, long that's got to take me. And this is Tree Town here on the left. It's had a lot of money spent uh, renovating bars. And as you can see, just here on the left, there's, there's places that weren't bars. The candy Club there on the left. That's just brand new already open so that uh, I was talking about my editing yeah and at the same time I've been using iMovie for my uh, editing on a very old Mac 2009 and uh, so I've downloaded DaVinci Resolve and I haven't even had a play with it yet so today's today's job Get this video into DaVinci and see what changes it, it brings and see if I can elevate my, my video quality slightly. As always, if there's anywhere in town you want to see, just drop me a comment or uh, send me an email if you're not into using comments, uh, strachan.david at gmail.com What I'll, uh, I'll do is I will take you back into Tree Town at the back end uh, Soy made in Thailand the owner sold the land um, and the bars were given, I think, two weeks to get out. It was a very short period of time. There was a mad scramble between the announcement and them getting the bars emptied. That's another, another load of people have lost the business. But it, it does just show you that um, the long-term view for Patea is still growth. You know, people are buying land, and that's, that's one of the biggest indicators um, of how people view the future here. Uh, my friend was telling me, even up in Pratham night, uh, a relatively small plot of land just just sold recently. Um, we're probably talking about a thousand, a thousand square metres. So this is not land that's big enough for a condo. So it'll be interesting to see what's what's going in there. Hatch is looking down towards the beach. Let me take you back into, into tree town first. And then uh, I'll maybe give you a little trip down beach road. Okay, I'll pause the video here and, and open again once I get back to tree town. So that's us uh, arrived back at tree town. We'll call it the northern entrance. 
It's the one at the entrance near our clang. There's the the new beach club over there. And they've had the music blasting out. But I, I really think it's just them testing their systems, making sure everything's working, ready for tourists coming back. So this is soy made in Thailand there on the right hand side. I'm not going to go, in, go inside because it really is all just derelict. Uh, but as you as you look through that little gap, that takes you to View to Lay Six on Second Road, and you can see all the bars. Got well, all the bars on that right hand side have been knocked down, and this place here is just going to disappear for sure. But Tree Town's got some uh, very good bars in it now. The new uh, Escape Club is going to be down there on the left side. This is uh, the blue tarpaulin on the left, Danny Sports Bar. I'll stop here for a second. Start to talk, ride the bike, avoid the potholes and show you things. Um, so there's the first bar, and then the blue one there, French Kiss, Matador, Area 52. Uh, on the right here, Dream Bar. Uh, it's actually my friend who's uh, partner in there. Yeah, it'll be changing names soon, I'm sure. Uh, Mask Bar. And I know there's been a lot of renovation work going on with these bars, um, getting them ready for for opening up. Oh, I just noticed there's a matador bar on the right as well, so they've got two directly opposite each other. One says live music bar, so. I really don't know when you come back what there's going to be here with regards to walking street. It, I can't see it being the same. Um, now if you are in the town, I'm sure you know, you can still get a drink if you're, if you're that way inclined. And the, the good news is they've stopped um, arresting the patrons. Uh, they just pick up the bar owner. Um, but I'm sure 95% of the time there's an arrangement in place uh, that stops that even happening. They, no they normally get a phone call telling them uh, we're coming to raid your bar. And that gives them enough time to, to sort out what they, what they need to sort out. Okay, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll head down Soy Honey here and uh, head back to my normal cycle route. You can join me again once I'm up at the Ducet Hotel upside Terminal 21. Okay. Extended version, letting you see what soy honey looks like earlyish in the morning. I normally come out cycling a little bit earlier, and uh, you don't see any people walking uh, about. Morning. Good morning, sweaty crap. The cleaner at the bar always shouts, "She's." She's one of them early birds. She's up at like 4.30. Oh,
Anyway, that's us. Back down to Second Road. And we'll see you again at the decent. And welcome back. That's me just coming up to Terminal 21. <clears throat> if you haven't been to Thailand for a few years, it's a new addition. Uh, I'll move the camera up a little bit. It's located just opposite the Dusa Hotel on the Dolphin Roundabout. A uh, huge hotel built on the back end of it, a bit like the the central having the Hilton. This one here has got the grand centre point, Terminal 21. Uh, seemingly very, very nice. And actually, Terminal 21 itself, lovely, lovely inside. Lots of uh, interest and stuff to see. Not just shops, but how they've designed it. <coughs> Uh, there's also uh, a food mall in there, you know, like a, the typical Thai one where you buy buy some vouchers to get in, and then you hand over the vouchers at the at the little stalls where you buy things, and then you cash in your vouchers at the end. There's a, a decent hotel on the right, and you probably won't recognise this on the left. This is the Amari, and they've knocked it all down. A lot of the old buildings gone. Uh, replaced with that tall rise one, and that one there. Over to the right, through the trees there's the Doucet. Just got to watch my, my speed here. probably said to you before but on the left here used to be one of my favourite places. That in there used to be called Mantra and it was like five different kitchens uh, so you could order all different types of food off, this, off of one menu and have them all served at the same time. Uh, had a fantastic bar when you went in and some great cocktails and some of the loveliest staff. Um, the lady that we met there, I'm trying to remember how long ago. Amy. Amy, probably known for nearly 20 years, maybe 20. And uh, she always looked after us in there. And then uh, when she left there, let me give you a view of the beach. When she left there, she went up to work at the Sintara Grand in Pratamnak. It's obviously in hibernation just now, so she's currently a lady of leisure. As you can see, there's a bit more traffic this time of day. Really, at weekends here, uh, Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday, it gets pretty busy down here. All the beach vendors are set up. All the beach chairs are out. On the left here, oh, is the is it? the bay, 
and somebody built that and just never thought it through. They just... I think there's a Starbucks and a McDonald's and one pharmacy. That is it. This is pretty much me back on my normal cycle route. If you want a little map, um, I will try and put a link in the description to my Strava, and you can, uh, you can you can see all my cycling that I do around the town. I only only video on the odd the odd occasion. One, I've got to go so much slower when I'm making a video, and. Uh, if there's rain or any chance of rain, I don't take it. I don't take the camera out. So, I'm not a YouTuber. I am a cyclist. I only started about a year ago, just because of COVID, really. I was, I was just putting on weight and... And I thought, well, you need to start getting yourself back into shape. There you go. Some ladies doing their morning exercise there on the beach. They start, I think they start about 6, 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, so my, my weight before I started cycling had got up to the... incredible weight of a hundred and it was really just you know getting out of hand and for someone who doesn't really drink that's that's not a good that's not a good uh, weight to be you know what I'm saying I, I can't use the drink as an excuse I'll go down here saw you eight um, so uh, I'm not on a, a strict diet, I just try and be better. Um, we've managed to get it down to this morning, 91.7. Uh, so just over 11 kilos, which is 22 pounds. So another six pounds, and I'll have lost two stone exactly, or thereabouts. Soy 7 and Soy 8 here really been hit hard. Um, very few businesses open. You, I don't know if you saw back there, Sailor Bar. It's, uh, it's still going. I think uh, this massage here on the left is open. Sorry, crap. The massage there on the left is open. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a customer in it. Not when I pass at night, that's for sure. Uh, night time here, getting across this road is a, a nightmare. Excuse the, the bit of the sun glare, it's a low sun and I haven't put any filters on my camera. That's us, we're getting into shadow now. Uh, this, uh, this little complex here, I've forgotten the name of it, but uh, very quiet as well. There's that's hardly, I think there's about three businesses open at a night time when I go past. <coughs> it's hard because if you live here, you've You've got bars and restaurants that you used to visit and you, you go down and it's not there anymore. But that's somebody's livelihood and, and probably, you know, a large amount of staff as well at the same time. And that's us, we are, we're now back at Soy Bacow. Uh, the northern end, if I turned left, would go to Patea Klang, it's probably about two to three hundred metres down the left hand side. 
I'm going to turn right and back into town. And uh, ride back to Jom Tien. And then from Jom Tien, let's take my dog for a walk time. And that's a typical morning for me. It'll take me up to about 8.30. And it's break, then it's breakfast time. Oh, this is um, just ahead of me here. Look, a new, a new uh, taco place. And Witherspoons. It's probably all under the same roof. But Witherspoons, they were in there already. And then they bought the place next door. And then it looks like they've diversified their kitchen to cater. Yeah, trying to get as many people through the door as possible. Yeah, perfectly understandable. <clears throat> stop up at the 7-Eleven here for my electrolyte drink. I thought today's speed I haven't burnt off many calories. this level with soy honey again and best pizza in town in my opinion uh, Bronx pizza there on the left just after my 7-Eleven sweaty crap yeah crap really who wants a massage at 7 30 okay I'll go get my drink Okay, let's, uh, I'll take you into 7-Eleven with me first. Sorry, crap. This is the one I go for pretty much every day. That one there. Okay, and there's El Camero. Right, I'll go get my drink and I'll see you in Jomtien. Later. Bye bye.